Hoping to educate the community, founder of Respect and Justice for Puerto Rico, Julio Pabon, hosts a panel discussion at Hostos Community College. Leaders in the Puerto Rican community, Angel Figueroa Jaramillo, Nelson Dennis, Eduardo Rosario, and Roger Juan Maldonado discuss the current state of Puerto Rico. We're having a forum on the issue of the Jones Act and some of the recent things that have been happening in Puerto Rico since two and a half years ago, since Hurricane Maria. Since 2017, Puerto Rico has been struggling with natural disasters, such as Hurricane Maria and most recently a series of earthquakes, leaving the island vulnerable and in need of emergency aid. If you let poor people become desperate for water, for electricity, for just the base for survival, they will accept whatever you get because they are so desperate. If you're if, if you're drowning, you're not going to argue with the person that gives you a lifeline. You'll take whatever it can because you got to stay alive. The disasters are not only affecting those in Puerto Rico. New York City Chapter President of Labor Council of Latin American Advancement, Eduardo Rosario, explains how he has been emotionally affected by what is happening in Puerto Rico. My family's from Puerto Rico, but my family's from Jauco. My family's been personally devastated. I have a cousin who, one more big earthquake and the backside of her house is coming down. I have a cousin that has cancer and lesions on her skin. Another cousin that has, is suffering with severe diabetes with dialysis and they're without water, right? No electricity to this day. One of the many obstacles facing residents in Puerto Rico is the Jones Act. According to a recent article on PBS.org, the Jones Act requires all goods shipped between American ports to be transported by U.S. vessels and operated primarily by American citizens. This makes the basic shipment of goods from mainland ports to the island very expensive. Most of the stuff that goes to Puerto Rico, which is 87% of everything on that island comes from the outside, has to come on U.S. ships. And those ships are leaving from Jacksonville, Florida. So imagine a ship going to Jacksonville, Florida, unloading and then reloading. And you know who's paying for that? The Puerto Rican people. The forums serve as a safe haven for members of the Puerto Rican community to learn and express their hopes and fears for Puerto Rico, but made sure to have attainable solutions for Bronx sites. To learn more about how you can get involved with forums like this one, visit at respect.justice4pr on Facebook. Reporting for BronxNet, Kim and Aline.